everyone, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to um, change the screen resolution so it's sort of full screen um, when you have installed macOS um, Mountain Lion on VirtualBox because um, as you can probably see here, when you first go ahead and install it, which I've done a video on by the way, which is why most of you are watching this, um, you'll yeah you'll notice you'll have these um, these black bars at the side because the um, screen resolution isn't isn't optimized and is and isn't full. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you um, a fix that worked for me and is kind of the um, only way to, to do it. Okay, so let's head right into this. And the first thing we need to do is on the guest side, so on Mac OS. We're going to go ahead and open up Finder. You're going to want to um, go to your hard drive. And then you're going to want to go and open up this um, folder that says Extra. And you're going to go ahead and click on this org.chameleon.boot.plist. I think that's how you say it. And you want to go and open that up. Um, and it should open up in text edit, a bit kind of like a um, WordPad type thing for Mac. And what you're going to need to do, because this is um, sort of an operating system file, when you try and edit it, um, you'll be asked to to, um, to duplicate it and, and then resave it. Um, but for now, just press the duplicate and I'll show you what to do later. And what you're going to want to do in between um, those two bits of the two um, bits of code um, that say DICT, in between that, you're going to want to put in this um, string of code that um, I'll probably put up on the screen now, but will be linked down below, um, so you can just copy and paste it um, right in. You'll have to copy and paste it on the actual virtual machine, so maybe watch this video on the virtual machine and, and copy and paste the description that way. So yeah, literally this little bit of code um, won't change the screen res automatically, but you need to do it on both sides. So you want to go ahead and put in this two little bit of code that says key graphics mode key and then string and then that is um, what you're going to want to change that's applicable to you. By default, it says num 1920 by 1080. So um, for, for some of you, the default might be absolutely fine. Um, but for me, I went ahead and changed it to 1366 by 768, which what quite a few um, other laptops do. But if you don't know um, what your screen res is, go down to display and then go adjust resolution. And it should be there on your recommended resolution. Okay, so once you've checked that and you know what is your um, recommended um, resolution, go ahead and fill that in um, where the defaults are. So yeah, just go ahead and fill that in. Then go up to File. We're going to want to save this. Um, and we're going to want to untick this box here that says use .txt. At the top, change that, erase the copy and just put boot.plist. Save that to the desktop. Then we're just going to go ahead and save that and you'll notice it pop up on the desktop in a minute. Close both of them down. Then literally, um, fairly simple, drag and drop the one that we've just put on the desktop, so that's the edited one, on top of the original one that doesn't have the thing, the piece of code about it. Drag and drop that and you'll be asked to, um, if you want to replace it, and um, which, you, which you do because it's the edited one. Go ahead and put in um, your password that you set when we set up this um, virtual machine, basically the admin password. And there you go, you've done it on that side. As you see, no change yet, but we need to do something on the host side first. Um, but you have, to, you have to do this on the guest side um, before you do that. So let's head into the bit we need to do on the host side. To get out of full screen, just do Control F, and then you're gonna want to power off, power off that machine. Okay guys, so once we've gone ahead and um, um, closed down our machine and powered all that off and um, exited out of um, VirtualBox. Um, we're going to need to do something on the host side. So as you can see, I have a um, notepad open here with a couple um, a couple lines. And these will be in the description below. So literally just do what I've done, copy and paste it into notepad. Um, so what you need to do with this second line, you're going to want to change your the, um, that bit in in there, the name of your virtual machine to the name of your virtual machine. <laughs> and you can check that by literally just copying it off um, of the one you've just made. So it's literally just going to be exactly the same with all the spaces. Um, capital letters will make a difference. So make sure you do it literally exactly as it is. And then here we're going to change um, our screen res again. So the, again, the default is um, 1080p um, HD, but change it to whatever works with you. So now we've got that there, we're going to go down and open up Command Prompt 
And let me just move this over so it's a bit bigger. And we're going to um, copy and paste in our first um, bit of line and then press enter. And we know there's no error there, so that's worked well. And then do exactly the same with this one. Do it right after and press enter again. And as you can see there, we've got no error code. So this is a good sign. We're going to want to close these down and open up virtual box again and fingers crossed this time it will open in full screen in the proper resolution that you set it to be. Um, I think the reason why you have to do this and the reason well why it doesn't work straight away is um, is because it technically it doesn't actually support Mac OS so the graphic support isn't there so that's why you have to change it by doing like a command prompt um, essentially rather than literally just like tick boxing or whatever. Okay, so now we've opened up the virtual box, we can start it up. And yeah, again, fingers crossed this will open up full screen. Remember um control F will um will open it up so you don't have you can't see the <laughs> windows. There we go. It's in full screen. So <laughs> I'll just wait for it to boot so I can prove to you guys that this is actually working. And there we go guys. We have come to the login screen. I'll quickly log in. As you notice, because I think maybe we've 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 changed the settings, that's probably why it took a little bit longer to boot up, I would think. So don't worry if you have that issue. And it's just that it's just booting up um, what I left last time because I didn't close down the rest of the programs. But there we go. That's in full screen. Um, you can go ahead and change the wallpaper if you want. Um, but yeah, hopefully that video has helped you out, guys. If you do have any questions or issues, leave them leave them in the comments below. Um, if this video did actually help you, then please um, leave a like and and subscribe. Would subscribing would really really help. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll be back with another video soon. Bye.